Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast for Feb 9th until 16th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. It's been a while since I've the last done the other weekly readings, but uh, I will try, you know, to come up with more. Alright Gemini, Oh. Oh. Some Geminis are actually torn between two livers. Mm -mm -mm. One fire sign, one air sign. Ooh. You know, be very careful with your work because it seems like right after you. Th there will be a travel, okay, that you're going to be making within the next two days or within the, you know, within the weekends. And it seems like you need to watch your back. Uh, there will be a little bit of a sabotaging that's going to be happening, but it's something that's, uh, you know, that you can't control. You will handle it. All right. Now, this week, um, huh. there is a fire sign that you want to cut off or that you want to... You know, for those Geminis who's trying to make a choice between an air sign and a fire sign, you want to give up on this fire sign, and because um, you know that it's not really going anywhere, and uh, you just keep on, you know, bickering back and forth, and uh, you're getting a little bit frustrated. Well, with the air sign, you feel a you feel a little bit compatible. You complement each other. You're you know you do have connections, chemistries, and you do understand each other. You all you're also in the same level of uh, you know intelligence and uh, you know the way you handle and understand things. So you do connect more. Although the sex life with the I mean you're yeah I mean you're. The sex with this fire sign is uh, something that satisfies you and something that really uh, complements your needs as well. While with the air sign, it's like uh, it depends or it's like seasonal, you know. So hopefully that you will make a, a wise decision. Whoever can make you happy and whoever can give you the security, stability and someone who's not going to cheat on you. Now... You will be very busy working. And I feel like you'll be working with somebody who's an older person or somebody who is your senior. Just be very careful because it seems like this person, even though that either this is your supervisor or manager, even though they're senior to you, they're uh, a little bit insecure, okay, when it comes to your skills and contributions. But don't worry. Um, because it also came out here, okay? Because you will be traveling that is work-related. And I feel like, you know, um, you will also be traveling because you want to get away for a little while. But make sure that you will be guarding up your, you know, your confidential stuff and your documents. And, uh, you know, you're going to be locking your drawer or something like that. Or your computer. Don't let anybody, um access it and uh even if this is your supervisor or manager might as well just take some you know important documents or stuff with you if they're going to be asking for some access or you know for something like that if you can refuse to you know might as well just refuse it because i feel like they're not really up to something good Okay, because there is somebody who's going to be betraying you at work and someone who will try to put you in a bad light. Now, also there is an earth sign from the past that will be coming back and a water sign. Huh. Okay. Your love life will be very active this week. And it seems like you need to... You know, instead of feeling a little bit proud and instead of feeling a little bit good for singles... But for those who's already married or for those who's already committed, this is going to be a nuisance for you and a headache, okay? Not to mention that, of course, that you have to deal with some tantrums and some jealousies and, uh, you know, some checking and uh, somebody who's going to be playing detective. So this is just going to be adding up a little bit more burdens or, you know, worries or nuisances to you. 
and you don't even know why all of a sudden these people comes your way or out of the blue they're going to be contacting you so your communications will be open and active and uh, it will also you know do the same thing to your job or to your um, especially if you're into sales this is going to be a very good hectic and active week for you all right now hmm. It seems like you want to discard the water sign because this person is very toxic and somebody who just gave you a lot of dramas and a lot of it's like they're very needy and they're always looking for your attention so this is somebody that you don't really want to have back in your life the earth sign is somebody that you want to consider all right let's take a look at your oracle cards You know, um, for those who's already committed or already in a relationship, before you make your own judgment or before you pass on your opinion to your partner or to whoever you're with right now, try to observe the things that's been going on in your lives, okay? It's not just you because, you know, your partner wants to talk to you about something, but you're kind of a little bit closed-minded or you don't want to accept that, you know, whatever it is that they're trying to tell you is what's exactly going on you're feeling a little bit in denial and you feel like ah you know you're just acting a little bit too much or you're overthinking you're over analyzing things and then uh, you know it's not true instead of discarding their opinion or instead of the discarding the issue try to address it before it can flagrate into a bigger thing later on okay and if you're also trying to make a choice as I've said, try to observe whoever that will give you the security, happiness, and stability, and not just, you know, with the flair of the moment thing. Now, stop questioning things about your life. You keep on giving a lot of meanings to everything. And if you will just keep on doing this, this is exactly the reason why you're a little bit stressed out mentally. Try to loosen up a bit and try to let things flow on its own and try to let things come at their own time and pace. Okay, and there is a brand new life. There's going to be a brand new beginning that's going to become your way. You just need to be a little bit more thankful, open, and, you know, um, be positive. Something that did not really work out in the past will finally be reworking on its own. It will be regenerating. Okay, you're also going to be going through a little bit of a transformation this week. So whatever it is, don't try to control the change that's going to be coming your way. Just be more open or open-minded. All right. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, um, it's available in my website now. We're trying to test out a uh, new method. So if you want to try, you can go and visit me at my website. You just need to register so that you can access it. And, uh, you know, um, if you need some more assistance, you can ask our CS there. And try to get your annual readings or annual forecast, personalized annual forecast for this year of 2019. So have a great weekend and blessings to you.